The opening of the Mike O'Mara Show is brought to you by... <laughs> nice fill, Bob The Hope. Man Grade. Men's <laughs> Health calls it one of 2012's best grilling accessories. We call it one of the year's best holiday gifts. The Man Grade... I love it, Oscar. Thank you. We really do. I do as well. And you're doing a fine job. Well, you know. Although you look exhausted. Pouring a hot uh, molten iron is uh, not an easy man's job. 100%. (laughs) Made in America, cast iron. So you get real steakhouse grill marks and seal in the juices for that great steakhouse flavor. The man grate's still just $19.99? Yeah, and if you order by Thursday, if I'm not mistaken, you've got guaranteed Christmas delivery. Guaranteed Christmas delivery. If you celebrate Christmas. Now listen, $19.99. Go through uh, the banner ad at Mike Show.com, but wait, there's more. There Mike, there really more. is, and can I jump in? Yeah, I guess so. What's really great is I always love a grill brush, but right. I want a grill brush that says something. Yeah, whatever. And this says the Mike O'Mara Show on it, and I use it as a mic stand when I have a talented minstrel in studio with me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate that, Rob. Uh, so give the grilling great that's changing the way America grills. Uh-huh. Give the man great. Yeah. Before we bring in our special guest, it's time for a holiday craft message. Oh, I'm glad it's back. Muzzle Tov, Shalom, and oh, no. Lakayam. Huh. Really? From all of us at Kraft. Hanukkah is over, <laughs> but you can still enjoy the best of the season with Mother Ronick's Spoil the Boy Latkes. Oh, oh they're the best! So sweet. Delicious. Start with a generous amount of Kraft kosher sour cream. Oh, yum. Peel and shred some Yukon gold potatoes and grind up some Smarties in a food processor. Oh. Oh. I told you. The more Smarties, the better, because <laughs> Baby likes his latkes with lots of sweet. Baby mm. does. <laughs> Grease a leather cookie sheet and form your mixture into quarter-inch thick <laughs> discs. Leather. Thick discs. <laughs> mm. Thick discs. Discs. Say it again, Mervith. Arrange in the shape of a Star of David and cover liberally with Kraft Baby Baby marshmallows. Marshmallows. Bake for 20 minutes until golden brown and serve with strawberry jam, powdered sugar, a photograph of Lowell Melser, and a dash of self pity. It's something new for your favorite Jew and another holiday taste sensation. From Crab. Oh, that's terrific. That's wonderful. Well, yeah. uh, here sponsored we are. Sponsored by Viagra. Yes, sponsored <laughs> by Viagra. Thank you. We are delighted to welcome uh, a guy that uh, has performed in uh, my old restaurant. Uh-huh. Yes. I have been on stage with his uh, his father, Holly Garber, the son of uh, the late uh, Holly Garber, is Ted Garber, and he has a brand new holiday album, Santa Claus is Going Town. Santa Claus is going to town. He's going got, to he, town. He's getting busy this year. He's... Uh... He's definitely tired of, of that, you know, too clean motif. So he's, ah, he's got a little more grit. Going to town. He's yeah, older. Yeah, down, going, going to town. Going Ted to Garber is here, ladies hey, and gentlemen. Ted. Welcome, Ted. Merry Christmas and happy Hanukkah. Thank you. I Thank went you. on the I went on the uh, Junkie Show on Friday, and I hear uh, Ted is in there with them, and he does the holiday thing with the Junkies every single year. And of course, like any uh, true radio performer, I steal. Of course, I steal as much <laughs> as I can. And I reached out to Ted and I said, "Can you can you get in here? Uh, you know, before we break for the holiday, can you pop in?" and do something and he's promoting a Christmas little thing so he said yes Uh, just for background for those of you that have not heard Ted Garber and he's never been on the show before Mm -hmm. uh, I was friends uh, with Ted's father who uh, passed away how long ago did uh, your dad pass? Over 16 years ago Oh my god Oh my god You know when I hear that number Ted your dad and and my dad passed away right around the same time Mm -hmm. so uh, we have that and uh, Holly uh, Garber was uh, of the, uh, the singing group Holly and Lou Right uh, they did all the jingles for the old Don and Mike show. Cool. You know, uh, yeah, I Rob, you're the yeah. show historian. Um, do you, do you have any of those uh, the, those old ones at all? You might actually have them in there. Okay, um, right. search uh, <laughs> LBJ. I all think the... they did the Jeopardy jingles. Did they not? Okay, hold on. All the other old stuff is in there. So yeah, I'm not getting it. I'm just I'll put in jingles. I think my there. favorite one that they ever did is they did the uh, to the tune of Center Field when you were on WAVA, Mike. They did a jingle for Maurice. Yeah, I don't have it. I, I'm not. I'll look. I'll look here. Go ahead. But we'll uh, and I it. do love the uh, phrase uh, "bend over, spell run." I think that was the first time I'd ever heard that. Such a great, yeah. great music. So I don't have those in, in the in the replays there. But well, it was uh, a good time. I remember the first appearance. You know, they they came on and it was it was uh, we were all sitting there, kids. You know, it was around Christmas time. We're we're all gathered around the radio to hear Dad on the radio, and they came in and tried to do that mailman song with all that in your window. 
And you and Dom were like, okay, off. <laughs> yeah, get off. <laughs> yeah. like, Stop there it. goes this big break. You know, Dad, you ruined it. You yeah, killed I, us. You screwed us at Christmas. These guys <laughs> were so much fun, and they were so popular. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, it was great listening to them. And then in the great tradition, you carried on. Uh, you carried the mantle. Yeah, man. And you've, uh, I mean, you've been a wandering minstrel for many moons yourself, I right? Have been, I have been strolling, but I have had a, a good star to guide me by, some, some big footsteps to fill. And, uh, wow. You know, it's it's been a real honor to to carry that torch. To Ted, that uh, awesome. th this is for uh, I had Ted perform in in the joint, and this guy knows how to get it done. And uh, you know, there's so nothing... you don't blame the failure of your restaurant on Ted. Well, <laughs> I blame everyone. And I know there was a lot of ingredients, and if you own a failing restaurant, but this is a very oh, was cool. really the beginning. Look of at the this! End. Look at this cool album cover. I buy that. Santa Claus is going to town, and. Uh, this is really oh, this look. is good stuff. Handsome. It's a got all the. It's got Rudolph Chicks the Red Nose Reindeer, yeah. Jingle Bells, Santa Claus is coming to town. Uh, when I had Ted at my old joint, uh, you know, there's something about a dude that comes in and just sits there mm -hmm. with a guitar, and you had the pattern. I kind of can't imagine how much ass well, you that, pulled. Well, that over was the a years. hilarious night because you came over to me and I had been. <laughs> you were sitting with your your, your entourage, and I didn't want to interrupt. <laughs> and so, so I was sort of waiting to say, "Hey, what's up? I'm Holly's kid. This is really cool to, to play your place." And I didn't even think I'd see you here. I just thought you put your name on it, you know, like Disney never hung out at the right. Polynesian. <laughs> <either. laughs> so, so I'm coming over there to hang out and uh, and 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 you saw me sitting there at the bar so after a while you got up and you left the table i thought here it comes you know i'm gonna get to tell and you put your hand on my shoulder and said uh we we start the entertainers here at 9 30. <laughs> it's 9 35. And, naturally and so all the wind went out of my cells and i said oh I no said, oh my god gosh you know i'm holly garber's kid but little, it was like two million miles an hour because now i'm nervous now, right well i'm holly garber's kid and just wanted to say it's great to be here and i'm sorry i'm late i know i am but you had your group over there and did i, I know you were holly's kid at that point you didn't no you just oh i mean god. i was just another guy on the couch you are yeah. such then, a jerk then, well but then <laughs> he went, no he was very I nice did, about i didn't it. know I've it was holly's some, kid i knew holly very well i knew his dad very very well we've all gotten that we've all gotten that tap on the shoulder that's god i'm not i got it just before the show. Well, he was, <laughs> I got it with the grill brush. Yeah. He came over. But then he gave this great introduction because after that he said, oh my gosh. And then he goes over to the mic. The lights come down. Like, ha! Ah! The place is transformed into a you know Vegas lounge now. Right. Yeah. And he goes down to the mic and says, folks, you know, Ted Garber, we're going to have him on right now. My, his father gives us great wonderful star stud introduction you know and i walk right. out now i don't know what i'm gonna play right because i'm used to just getting up there and kind of you know being background to the sure. drinkers Noodling, for the first yeah. half hour <laughs> background so to then the i drinkers. played this you know 17 red bull inspired version of southern cross or something that was like you know, it made Bruce Springsteen look tired, and uh, <laughs> and after that, I kind of I thought, oh, oh dear, that'll be it. But you know, he had me back. He had oh, me back. Awesome. It's, nice. it's, Here we are. It's, so. it's great. You know, it was so great. nice. Uh, I love I love the the social networking world where you can reach out to people and people get back in touch with you. And it happens yes. quickly, yeah, and you man. can do that. I mean, this doesn't happen. No, many uh, times that's a great thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yesterday, <laughs> yesterday, not so much. Well, but, you know, we. Uh, have days. Uh, Ted is here, and here's what we're going to do. We have a bunch of gifts that, uh, so I forgot who sent these gifts. Uh, Rob, one but. was from Rob Shade, and uh -huh. one was from the Zinks in Albuquerque, our oh, favorite lesbian. But uh, yeah. we're, we're going to get uh, Ted on here, and uh, from uh, what are you going to be doing from your album? We're going to give you one, and then you're going to do yeah, that well, background drinking music, even though we're not drinking. <laughs> yes, and then, we got it. And then we'll give you another one, and then you get in your Ooh, car and get the hell out of here. Perfect. Well, right, well, so. I, I, since, since you've got the jingle bells over there, and yep. everybody knows this one, I thought right. we'd do one everybody knows, okay. and a key everyone can sing. So here we go. This is my New Orleans flavored jingle bell. I guess I should Follow your tempo. All right, that's Mike on the Jingle Bells. Dashing <laughs> through the snow in a one horse open sleigh. All the fields we go, laughing all the way. Bells on Bob tails ring, making spirits bright. What fun it is to ride and sing a slaying song tonight. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a wall on a soap and sleigh. Yeah. yeah, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a wall on a soap and sleigh. Gonna break it down. Now the ground is white. Go it while you're young. Get the girls tonight and sing a slam song. Just get a bobtail bay. 
240 is his speed. Hitch him to an open sleigh and crack, you'll take the lead. Come on, boys. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Yeah! yeah. Wow. Merry wow. Christmas, happy holidays, everybody. That is great. Where do people Woo. get your album? How do they get your album, Ted? Well, they can get it easily right to their iPhones uh, on iTunes. Ooh, it's cool. on iTunes. Nice. It's also on uh, some of the other digital download sites as well. And, and they can order it through uh, my website, tedgarber.com. Get it All right, right to the front door. Thing of beauty. Thank okay, you. Okay, before we uh, get to the next song from Ted on here, uh, Mark, a little background stuff there, sure. Ted, and we're going to op open up some of our gifts from listeners, everybody, as we are winding Ted, would, down. would Amazon be one of those music sites? I'm one pretty of those sure, yeah, usually we'll Amazon, there, sure. Rhapsody, and... Uh, all those guys. Excellent. All right. Let me see. I'm checking here. This is I from love gifts. That is from the Zinx. I love gifts, too. This is, is from who? The Zinx of the Albuquerque. Best. Is that a mineral or a... No, no, no. It's a lesbian couple. All right. This is from the Zinx? Yes. Oh, it looks like everybody got stuff. Yeah, oh, I think it's nice. a DVD, and I think they'll be pretty clear who gets what. They are right, great friends of the show. Wonderful people. All right. I didn't bring my glasses today, and I can't read it. Well, drink out of the bottle. Oh, they have a baby. Right. But you know. Where do they put the... Uh, where do they put who's what? Oh, should I just, like, figure out who's what? Yeah, I think what? it's pretty clear. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, All right. Buzz, I found this and thought you would enjoy. Love that you have a new hobby. And uh, it says, uh, keep it up from the Zinks. Oh, well, that's right. very nice. All right. Eddie Vedder ukulele songs. That's <laughs> oh, obviously. Excellent. Isn't that there cool? All right. Yeah, Eddie, yeah, you want to catch? Here we go. All right. Got Enjoy. it. Oh, nice. All right, let me see. Very nice. Thank you, Zinx. Rob, you're an old That's soul, lovely. and uh, we love you for it. Hope you like this. Uh, we saw it and thought of you from the Zinx. You're oh, how nice. You're an old soul. Uh -huh. Okay. This is uh, live. No, that's not He's it. A merry no. old soul. Oh, a merry old soul was okay. he. Mm -hmm. Was right. I? Commercials from the 50s, 60s, and 70s. Fantastic. Hey. Some of these right. soon to be airing on WTNT. <laughs> <laughs> My <thought> exactly. <laughs> Oscar. Yes. We almost got you the Red Rocks one. Good thing you posted on on Facebook. Have a drink when you can. Relax and enjoy the music. From the Zinks, and uh, this is OAR. Oh, oh awesome. awesome. On Blu-ray. Oh, oh, nice. I have this. Very and, nice. Uh, Sally. You dig that band. You like right. their sounds. Yeah. Nice. Mike Madison wanted to get you something guy. we knew you loved. Every day, my wife texts me and says, Mike's up, uh, meaning the download is ready, and uh, it's the <laughs> highlight of our day. We love you and are grateful for what you do from the Zinks. And, uh, man, I never get tired of it. Uh, oh, 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 look at this. God. What Buddy is it? Rich, live at the 1982 Montreal Jazz Festival. Wow, good stuff. This is a great gift for me. What Thank lovely, you. thoughtful gift. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Now, do we this have to good. stay after the show and watch Buddy Rich? No, yes. but I, I've, okay. I've been doing it a lot lately. It's, it's a mind clearer with all the yeah, crap we've been going it. through. Good stuff. Uh, all right, let me see. There's nothing in the shopping bags but papping popcorn. Uh, just wanted to try and avoid making a mess for you. This is a big package that comes from Rob Shade. Uh -huh. Dear everyone, I'm a loyal TMOS listener. And I am enhancing my VI penis for the third year in a row. Uh, plus, when purchasing online over the past year, I've always headed for Omerazon. <laughs> I love that. Love that phrase. Omerazon.com. My birthday is on December 16th, but instead of asking the birthday song for the birthday song uh, or Rob to run out and get me anything or a smooth birthday word from Buzz or something from Oscar, I decided this year to give something back to everyone. And I think it, uh, you'll all be pleased or amused with what they find within. Uh, there are items for all, including Mike, Rob, Buzz, Oscar, Mark, and RJ, plus a little something for Todd, since he checks into the show every now and He's then. He's a great character, though, And Todd I listen Moore. to 4112. <laughs> Just wanted to say 411. They did it. Uh, it's in there. It's out there. Uh, last night you did a show, right? Yes, Tech 411. New Just episode. You do it five nights a week, right? <laughs> Christmas episode. <laughs> Just wanted to say thanks. Hence the use <laughs> of thank you cards. Uh, for the best use of the podcasting medium and wonderful news about the return to local radio, I say bully to you all, Rob Shade. And oh, we all got nice stuff. What do we all get? All right, everything okay. go. He says anything to me, funny? he says, uh, I want you to run out and get yourself some milk. Ooh. Here's something to tide you over. Oh, awesome. He got me Frankenberries. Frankenberries, <laughs> good. Oh, my God. And a gift card for iTunes. How nice of him. Very generous. Very Thank nice. you, Rob, with one B. Yeah, what about you, Oscar? Well, I'm well enough. I'll enjoy these. These uh, are fun size Snickers. <laughs> oh, they uh, are fun. Oh, fun size. I will hold on to these. That is, put them in your container there. Buzz? That is the, the fun size. Yeah, Rob writes, I enjoyed myself and figured, I, I enjoyed these myself and figured you might uh, enjoy revisiting them. You've spoken of your appreciation on a few occasions, so I figured why not? Let's see what he's talking about here as I rip the paper off. And he gave me a very kind gift card for iTunes. Oh, that's, oh, nice. that's very nice. Okay. 
I use mine to download the Amara show. I'm gonna need a knife. While Buzz is opening that, he gave, he writes a note to me. Last summer, I discovered this place in L.A. and was happy to find they opened one in Inner Harbor. So you can order lobster and take a little dent out of the tab, <laughs> and it's a, a gift card to Bubba Gum Shrimp. Hey, hey very nice. Cool. Very Mark nice. will appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, the card he writes me is it was uh, great oh. to uh, help get you hooked on Game of Thrones. This time, I'd like you to have something you can use just for yourself. Sip it or soak boof in it. Just enjoy it, and uh, happy holidays. And it's booze of some kind. Mm. You know I like me the booze. Mm, boy. I think it's just a beautiful bottle of wine. Let me just check here. Hold on just a second. All right, boy, it's wrapped. It sure is, Rob Shea. There we go. Uh, Turnbull Cabernet Sauvignon. Hey, it nice. looks delicious. Thank you very much, Rob. And I that now have good. my gift, which is the complete box set of Buffy the Vampire oh, wow. Slayer and its spinoff series, Angel. Awesome wow. stuff. Well, thank, thank you, Rob, Rob Shea. Rob Shea. Hey. I'll pass so it on to nice. Todd. You guys spoil us. And uh, before we... Uh, Start the uh, gist of the real show, ladies and gentlemen. What? From his album, Santa Claus is Going to Town. Uh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, here's Ted Garber with another one of his tunes for you. All right, I said, Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. Oh, had a very shiny nose. Mm, and if you ever saw it, baby. Well, you would even say glow. I said, no, the other reindeer. Oh, used to laugh and call him names. Yeah, they never let poor Rudolph. Oh, yeah, Jordan and the reindeer games. Then one foggy Christmas Eve, Rob Speedway came to say. Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you drive my drunk ass home tonight? <laughs> you said then how the reindeer loved him. Oh, as they shouted, I would flee. <laughs> Rudolph, the red nosed reindeer, will you go down in history? I said, Rudolph, the red nosed reindeer. Come on, y'all go down and history. Oh, yeah. Check wow. over, ladies and gentlemen. Ted. Gene Autry never sounded like that. Man, oh, it's man. Terrific. Uh, you know, uh, any time around the area you're going to be playing at all? Because, I mean, really, you want a great time. Uh, Ted does the you know the whole deal where uh, he works the crowd better than anybody I've ever seen mm. with a guitar. Uh, where are you going to be performing? Well, we got some great shows coming up this weekend in Great okay. Falls and Residence on my website, tedgarber.com. But awesome. I really want to get behind something right here in Manassas it's called the Midwinter Meltdown Fest. It's three days of absolute mayhem, tons of bands, tons of craziness at the... Uh, Best Western over here in Manassas, oh, the battlefield. Oh, cool. Now, when is, when is that going to be? Uh, the weekend of January 25th. My band is headlining that night on the 25th, my full five-piece. Oh, nice. Oh. Nola Rock Blues Band will be up in there as well. Oh, so God. people can check out tickets at midwintermeltdown.com, or there's a link at tedgarber.com. That's, that's within awesome. staggering distance That's right. It results in Mike going to jail. Yeah, everybody, <laughs> everybody here's on the guest list, so you guys just oh, come on. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Ted, do I get to keep your uh, your album here? You get to keep that. I got Yay. copies for all you guys. Very nice. Take your bells. Thank you guys so much for having me Christmas, everybody. Merry the Christmas, album Ted is, Garber. Uh, Santa Claus is going to town. Ted Garber, everybody. That yeah, yeah. Thank you, Mike. Ted, you're great. Good Good day 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 Start the Happy show, Rob. You can listen to the Michael Mara Show at www.michaelmarashow.com. Stay tuned for an outstanding entertainment program. <laughs> it's the Michael Mara Show. He said I'm cute. Ha ha. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> for crying out loud. <laughs> What's this nonsense here, Box? After all, yeah! <gasps> <laughs> all right, all right now, Yearnings. Back to practice. Oh, no. Not you. You better go home with your folks. From now on, gang, we won't let Rudolph join in any reindeer games, right? Right, right. right. Halt! Who goes there? Us, of course. Who'd you think? Oh, well, then that's okay. Okay, who, may I ask, are you? We're Rudolph and Hermie and Yukon Cornelius, sir. Who are you? I'm the official sentry of the island of misfit toys. A jack-in-the-box for a sentry? Yes, my name is... Don't tell me. Jack. No, Charlie. That's why I'm a misfit toy. My name is all wrong. No child wants to play with a Charlie in the box, so I had to come here. 
It's the Mike O'Mara Show. Mike O'Mara. Buzz Burbank. Rob Speedway. Oscar Santana. And now, from his couch, here's Mike. Live from the Cappy Fiber Studios, Yay. it's a marshmallow world, everyone. <laughs> America's most beloved podcast, the Mike O'Mara Show, downloaded more than 16 million times and heard in 150 countries worldwide. Our show today is brought to you by our Mike O'Mara Show 2013 VIP packages. Enhance your vip penis. I did it twice. Now listen, when you get the uh, VIP packages, <laughs> and a lot of people, believe it or not, that listen to this show on a daily basis still do not get this. Right. What you get with a VIP package, you can enjoy all of our bonus shows. Mm -hmm. You get the video on demand feeds. That means you get to watch our fat asses right. do the show every yeah, day. Plus, that? you get the live video feed of our weekly show. Right. And it's all now available for your mobile devices. Some packages also come with a DVD of our Reno show mm -hmm. and our Gabe Strine animated series. You so see the Get, new one? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, when I started it with the kids in the room, I had to mm, yeah, I know. pause. Yeah. It's pretty bad. Time to go, kids. <laughs> Gabe, Gabe likes to take our unedited, uncensored content. Yes, he does. From the Turn bonus. it into a silly, dirty little cartoon. It really is. <laughs> so you yeah. get that in some of the VIP packages. The 2013 yearly subscriptions are available now at MikeOmeraShow.com. We appreciate you supporting the show. We are on pace uh, to beat last year. Good. And uh, we're delighted with that. Just click on the word uh, bonus. Well, I'm lying. We're actually at the same pace as last year. I'm just optimistic thinking we're going to beat it. I right. think you're right. It's, it's the holidays. Just click on the word bonus at the top left-hand side of mean? our homepage. I have no idea. <laughs> that is the Mike O'Mara Show. <laughs> but Mike, it's the holidays. 2013 VIP <laughs> package. Do it. Do it. I said last night on my Facebook page that uh, right before I turned in that... Uh, that I, uh, the, the mission, the number one directive, the prime directive of this show is to make you laugh, and hopefully that's what we're going to try to do. That's right. But I'll tell you something. It's been... Oh, easy now. It's been a world of hurt on I Facebook. Know. I it's know. been a lot of punching back and forth, and... Uh, you know, a lot of people feel strongly about events that have happened, yes. and uh, I just got to say that it's it's hard for me to... Uh, to, to really express myself sometimes without getting emotional, and I do get emotional. And You wear your emotions on your sleeve. It's and, one of the reasons that I love you. And there's certain times in a person's life where uh, you don't back down, and this is one of them, and so that's what I have to say to a lot of people that might okay. be concerned with some of the uh, editorial points that are expressed on this show. But the uh, the prime directive of this show, and I, I remember that every day, is to go, hey, 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 and to be a clown and do that. But right. It makes me sad. I'd be honest if I, uh, I'd be lying if I didn't say that it didn't make me sad. We're all affected. That, uh, you know, you deal with uh, a lot of people that have very strong viewpoints uh, that are different than mine. Right. And it's hard. And I think that what the one message I wanted to get out to everybody is when I'm giving you a lot more of my uh, personal political viewpoints and my issues viewpoints on Facebook, I feel that this is one where trying to be accommodating doesn't necessarily get through to the kind of people I'm trying to get through to. Well, you've been a so, a lot of people have been very accommodating for many, many years. Yeah, I, and it I really agree. hasn't it really hasn't benefited us yeah. as a nation, I don't think. Yeah, and this is uh, just one where I think that uh, we do need to change some things and yeah. so that's it. Not and talking about it is not the answer. You know, no. it, it, it double and, negative and, and so but right. that's all that's all I wanted to say on that. On the uh, pro Ted, thank you, no, brother. Listen. Thank you. Drive Ted. safely. <laughs> thank uh, you, Ted. I love doing a show from my house. I Bye. -bye. Know. I know. You can hear the bell call you know closing the door ted gets radio too yeah. you see that he knew i mean we talked about it he knew exactly what he had to do bingo, i think bango. it's so oh, nice that a, that a man who is so ungood looking and with such a poor I, voice he is I might, be, I might be in love it's yeah. crazy oh the, the men love him and then, uh, women love him men want to be like him i think i do i think i love him uh, <laughs> rob <laughs> rob i don't know if i, I, I go back so long with holly garber yeah, holly yeah. and lou uh and i used to go out and check out their shows i and, met i the first time i met ted was before I was married, because mm -hmm. we went out and did a benefit, right. and I met him then, and I, he still he sounds even better now. Yeah, they're they're uh, and it's so cool that his son carried on the, uh, yeah, the legacy for that. On the program today, my early Christmas gift from Beluga. It, uh, I'll need some Christmas music. Of course, are we going to uh, need towels? Is it something you need to scrape? Yes. Uh, <laughs> I want to uh, check the uh, room out and find out who, how many people are behind on things. I am like now realizing that uh, not only do uh -huh. uh, I have Christmas with my daughters, and yes. I have to get. 
uh, my lovely pregnant bride uh, some uh, things as well. Mm -hmm. Lotions. I'm, just, I'm completely lotions, Cr creams, creams, belly, belly butter. butter. Yeah, that's right. And of uh, course, nylons. And let me see. I want to discuss my hair nylons. today because it's been a subject. Uh, Jimmy's right hand person, Eric, indicated to me about a week ago. Why are you laughing? Because You're laughing because you have less than I do. Because you really, uh, the hair needs to be addressed. My hair today? Yeah, what's it's, going on? It's very fumpy. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll get Did to you it. tease it or something? Just wait. I teased mine. It got mad and went Just away. Pacing. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, got a new show, new recommendation for you that Good. I'll give you later on. A new mm -hmm. TV show. Because that's all I do is watch television. <laughs> and uh, we didn't get to what we want for Christmas Why yesterday. Hopefully we'll get that. And uh, Holiday Rob, you're okay with the Friday schedule? Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Just, uh, it looked like you kicked him in the nuts. I thought we were going to vote. He wanted when it. said it. Rob wanted it. <laughs> you know Rob really wanted Friday what it came, wanted Friday Where it came from is you were very agreeable to it at the uh, at Quench. You were leading the charge, as a matter of fact. Have a drink now. We'll discuss it again. Did I ever technically really say <laughs> I you was agreeable to what it? What you said is, I think it's a great idea. I think we've all worked very hard, and let's talk to Oscar and Mark about it. See, <laughs> this is the equivalent almost uh, of a child going to mom instead of dad, you know, but, <laughs> yeah. but what he's doing is he's catching you when you're under the influence. Yes. Yeah, and when yeah, I you're said like a I, drunk chick at a bar, I know. Yeah, and it's really hard to talk Mike into a day off, so I really needed to pull all the well, strings. You know what? <laughs> you know it is harder now because I kind of, right. uh, I, I, I dig this, and now it's I'm, fun. I'm, and you I'm, know what? This really <laughs> is the best time of year to do the show. It it's is. the holiday show. Well, it is. What were you going to do? Because it's the holiday. That's a great you, question. What was he going to do? on What Friday? were you going to do Friday? And let's say this three-hour commitment. I, I, you I, have. I love that you asked me this because I got a valid answer. Julia needs the stitches out of her ears. I need to take her to the doctor. And no one else can take her. Uh, no, I'm sorry, because as you remember, Carrie works. Yes. <laughs> and you don't. <laughs> it was implied, you boys, but thank you for... You boys have just given me a Christmas present. Thank you for yeah. underscoring that for the comedically challenged. Well, uh, everybody else want. laughed, Rob. <laughs> That's just what I wanted. I'm glad to hear that her ear thing She's did doing very great. well. And it's her birthday. Oh, that That's happy right. birthday, Julia. She is 12 today. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, the official birthday greeting from the Mike O'Mara Show yeah. for Julia. One, two, ready, go. Uh, uh, birthday, uh, birthday, uh, Julia. Birthday, Facebook. Birthday, birthday, Julia. Anyway, uh, how old is Julia today? She is 12, and she will be featured in today's audio vault. Will Yay. your, ch will your uh, children be disappointed that uh, you do not have Friday off? Uh, Robert won't know. <laughs> <laughs> Nor will he care. Um, and Julia, no, not really. No, they don't care. Don't I really just, it. no. How she brought get, it up. How is she going to get her stitches out? We'll figure something out. You know, <laughs> I, I have to say that uh, there was a, a little grain of guilt that ran through me simply because this is the time of year right. where I will do two weeks of the show right. from a different location. Mm -hmm. I don't make a big deal about no, that no, because it really we found out that it works, and so it's okay. So it's not that really that different. No. I'm just in a different spot. But I still, because of all you guys... I feel guilty. You shouldn't. No, I feel guilty about healthy. everything. <laughs> Mark, did you say no? Yeah. No. Well, well, no don't Mark's feel like guilty. the greatest <laughs> guilt doler out yeah. of anybody. No, in it's the whole so great. If you take the average commute that someone has <laughs> and <laughs> add it up throughout the year. Uh -huh. I think that's like driving to Florida, and so this is this is your one commute of the year. Right. You're, instead of that's taking true. ten minutes a day, you're going to drive nine hundred miles exactly twice. That's the way with it's dogs. Gonna work. It'll be good. Yeah. That's the way it's going to work. Uh, so anyway, uh, so there's going to be, be a Friday. Show. There's going to be a Friday show. Good. Yeah. We're going to have our, uh, but. I don't care if it's festive a little bit. Well, we're going to take out you know? uh, Julia's stitches on Friday's show. Yeah, yeah. Right. we'll do that in here. Well, I, actually, I have the, my tweezers. What the doctor did is he did it like a bag of dog food. So if you just pull on the end, it unravels. <laughs> yeah, right. Nice. One piece. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fun. fine. <laughs> it'll be great. That's I right. want to remind everybody that starting on January 14th, we are going to be rebroadcasting our podcast every single night, Monday through Friday, on WTNT. 102.9. WTNT. Where'd you get that? I am not unconnected. That is, let me hear that again. <laughs> oh, I've got more. Hey, I want everybody to know that coming up on January 14th, the Mike O'Mara Show starts at 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Monday through Friday on WTNT. WTNT. These jingles, by the way, are for sale to other shows on WTNT that may be interesting. And also, Mike, if you want to do that in like a reverse, I have a sing and a music playout. So, and now here's Mike O'Mara to tell you more. WTNT. Ladies and gentlemen, starting on January 14th, the Mike O'Mara Show comes 7 to 9, Monday through Friday. Hope you enjoy it. WTNT with the whole gang podcast every single day. Hope you join us. Is that a music playout or is it that is. a jingle at the end? 
There's no play at the end, but it's I can give you donut. one. We can jingle it's not out. a donut. I can jingle out if you want. Okay, we'll start. So give me a strong cue. Okay, hold, you want on, hold on. Nice fade, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> All right, top of the hour. Hit it. W T N T Washington. W T N T. <laughs> Start it again. Oh, Start it again. Oh, screwed up. Hold on. All right. Arlington, Washington, Maryland, and Virginia's WTNT. WTNT. Yes, that's right, friends. Starting January 14th, it's the Michael Mary Show, Monday through Friday, 7 to 9 p.m. If you would like entertainment, topicality, and good old fun, you'll want to join us on 102.9 FM, AM 730. We're glad to be with you. That sounded like crap. Sound like crap. You killed work. it. The hey, board you know work what? was sloppy. The board work was very sloppy. <laughs> You're <actually>. welcome. Yes, <laughs> yeah. So tell me, where you, where'd you get them? Friend of mine worked there some years ago. These are no longer on their station. But they he are said, now. He said, oh. would you like a copy of them? I said, oh, more than life itself. Oh, they are, they are fantastic. Amazing. Oh, here's wow. the legal. WTNT Washington. Nice. That was great. That is and you know what? It's a good. We're, it's a good package. We can bring them back. Of course uh-huh. we can. We can sure. do whatever we want. Why That's not? right. That's Did you check station. it with uh, Kelly? No, I don't ask him. That. But neither did he check with me, so I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> yeah. That's the one I want you to hit again. Okay, That's right. Ready? Ladies and gentlemen, the Mike O'Mara Show will be joining you January 14th here in Washington D.C. on. WTNT. Two seconds. Yeah, yeah, two seconds. Yeah, I know. All right. So anyway, that's those sound neat. They're, they're good, aren't they? Are they? Nice. Those are terrific. I will they just. Sound... I'll thank him. Thank you, Chris, for that's sending good. those away. Yeah. So starting uh, January fourteenth, we hope you all uh, join us. It should be a lot of fun, and uh, the show's not going to change. No, uh, it's the same. There'll be minor formatic differences. We'll uh, be breaking at different times, right. but uh, the show stays the same. Going to be just a little longer, and a lot of you have been asking about that for right. quite some time. More TMOS right. for yeah. you. So uh, mm-hmm. be aware of that fact. Uh, so before we go to break what's that you want to call him now oh yeah let's call him well no let's take a break and then we'll call him. and then we will we'll do a couple of things we'll Very call good. dennis right. hoff from the bunny ranch oh. uh, wants to come on and what's he promoting he wants to talk about us seeing us in reno and i think he wants to promote the dvd we're selling and to settle okay. up your bill uh, very good <laughs> <laughs> we'll take a break come back on the mike omera show Welcome back to MikeOmeraShow.com. I want to remind everybody that Wait Not has a very, very good special going now until Christmas. Mm-hmm. It's a special gift to our listeners. You get $100 off your Wait Not program. Wait Not is the best gift you could ever give yourself. 855-WAIT-NOT, 855-934-4486 or WaitNot.com. Let me take this opportunity to say a Merry Christmas to Paul yeah. Oh, yeah. and also to uh, Christy. Both great. And all the uh, good pe- uh, people over at Wait year. Not and also Steph. <laughs> Stephanie, who works with uh, Wait Not, want to say uh, Merry Christmas to uh, everybody over there. They changed my life, Mike. Unbelievable results you can believe in. How is, uh, when is your television commercial? I've not heard back in? from Christy. I have to imagine sometime in the new year, because they've uh, we shot it over two months ago. I've seen, a, fi- I've seen pictures you from You saw it. the still. You put yeah. the still up on Facebook, yeah. right? Yeah, and it's uh, so we're very excited I, to I kn- see it. I know it's coming. I spoke to a guy who sells TV time, and he said they, they've made the deal, so it should be showing up oh, anytime. Oh, wow, cool. Now. Very That's cool. Thank stuff. you, Buzz. And uh, just remember, 855-WAIT-NOT. That's the phone number. 855 855- Five nine three four 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 eight six, and remember that one hundred dollars off your wait not program uh, that is now until Christmas. So mm-hmm. remember that. What a great gift to give somebody. Do it. Unbelievable results. You can believe in. Change your life. Wait not. Uh, welcome back to the show. We got Dennis Hoff coming up in uh, just a few minutes on the program. Want to thank Beluga from the bottom of my heart for oh, my yeah. early Christmas gift. He is a lump what of coal, be? isn't he? All right. Last night, uh, Carl and I are, what the hell were we watching on the Magic Box? Oh, we're watching uh, our t vote catch-up of Homeland. Yes. Ah. And also also Dexter. Oh, it's a great Christmas show. And Was it the Dexter Christmas special? No, but you know what? They, they put a little disclaimer on uh, for Homeland, and, uh, you know, it's just like... These shows, you realize, I think everybody's just thinking about our culture yeah, sure. a little bit. Right. And just you realize that it's that's all we have. Do not it's, try this at home. Mm-hmm. It's horrible yeah. violence. All that. But you know yeah. what? I'm willing to look the other way because it's my entertainment. Right. Yeah. But it's but I feel weird watching it to us. Yeah. You think a lot about different things that, that you have. And as we are watching our TiVo television programs, I noticed that uh, my little black pug yes. is just... Every minute that we had the door open to the outer uh, lobby here, mm-hmm. the lobby of the mansion, and <laughs> Beluga the foyer keeps going outside, and I'm like, "Come back here!" Uh oh. 
And then he comes in, walks around, pads around a little bit. Then he goes back. What's I said, he up to? Come back here. Exactly. Yeah, yeah he's up exactly, to something. Exactly, yeah. Buzz. What's yeah. he up to? What's That's he up what to? I thought. And then uh, this morning I realized. And Carla disagreed. He said, no, he's fine. He's not doing anything. <laughs> Leave he's him just, alone. He's exploring. <laughs> exploring? And I, Doesn't he know every nook yeah, and cranny of this place? I was going to say he's lived place? here 10 years. Yeah. 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 Yeah, and, and, and have you ever seen him to be non-sedentary? No. No. Right. You know? and the, so, I get upset when I walk in and he's not in his bed. I, say, I, I think he's up to wrong. something. Yeah. Right. right. And I, so I wake up this morning. I uh, come into the kitchen. Do the dishes. That's my job. Yes. I, I, I accept and, that. You do a great job. Thank you, Rob. I uh, I walk out to uh, get the uh, lights turned on in the studio, and I look in the middle, smack dab in the middle of the foyer of the home, and it looks like effing Nick Nolte has taken a dump. Oh, oh no! my god! This was oh. this was not an average pug dump. Was like this a- was a human looking dump that I had, <laughs> oh, and I was man. just pissed, and and you off. are sure it's not human. Yeah, well, you know what? Unless, uh, unless did Carla really, leave the unless room? the pregnancy is really causing some <laughs> she, uh, she, no. didn't, she didn't leave the room. <laughs> like Ted, did he have I'll four right hookers back. with him? <laughs> <laughs> four hookers. <laughs> so uh, I just want to say thank you for the early Christmas present. That's uh, well, that's, is, that's that dog loves is he eating nice. something wrong? What's no, he, he just. Point set as in he's chocolate. He's lazy. <laughs> he's lazy. Yeah. He's weird about his bathroom habits. I take him out once in a while, right. but Carla does most of the dog walking in the family. Yes. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> there, there's my little love. <laughs> and you know what? It's really important for me to say, I love you, Beluga. I do. But I was not happy this morning. No. And I was like, well, Merry Christmas to me. This yeah. is how yeah. I start my day. And I've got it in the tissue for paper. Daddy. And I'm looking at him. And he knows. He knows exactly. Because I actually bring him out to look at it. Yeah. And he knows. He oh, sure. knows. You they know, do. they say that they don't have that kind no, of memory. They do. They, they do. They do. No, and they have that memory. And Beluga's got a fa- All dogs sort of have a, an expression that they default to. Sometimes yes. a dog smiles. Sometimes a dog looks means. But default, her default, the default expression, rather, on Beluga is that I'm doing something to piss you off. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. the way that dog always looks at me. Yeah, yeah but absolutely. do you think Beluga now looks at you because he's done this so many times? Yeah, so I mean, like, he does it routinely. You think he sits there? And so there. does Frankie. Frankie, oh, and Frankie's Frankie much dumps, worse. Frankie dumps where Rob is, and I yeah, think right. that's well, the Well, he, he learned degree. from Beluga, I'm sure. I don't know. Dogs learn from each other. The breed, the breed of Chihuahua, I believe, uh, dumps uh, regularly in the house. That's that's what Tab would probably back me up on that. Uh, right? Tab, Tab doesn't Patterson. talk to you. Tab doesn't speak to me. <laughs> what? Well, I feel like Beluga looks. Neither at you. does Hank. <laughs> Ooh, all right. there Moving on. What's that? I feel like Beluga looks at you and said, "That's right, clean up my mess." That's right. Yeah. But he, but he Hop knows. Hop to it, Grandpa. Yeah. I said, I said, "Come on in here," and I bring him out to the den, uh, and he takes a right hand turn because oh, he knows I'm going to bring yeah, him he's out coward. here. Sure. So he knows, he knows. I don't know they, how long of ago. Of course they do. I don't know. Yeah. How, I hate this too because it really makes me want to. Yeah. yeah. When I think about it, I don't know how fresh it was. Well, the thing but is, you pick it up with the uh, tissue, and you, you, know, you feel that no, soft. I didn't. Have, my fingers don't get close enough to get to. Well, but sometimes it. you can feel the warmth through the cloth. Yeah. Well, if yeah. you do that, the, then cloth, the, the dog is both the linens, Ill. Mike. Sometimes you feel it through the linen. <laughs> the thing is, now when I touch mine, it's usually very hot. <laughs> well, it should be. Oh. Yeah, that's a good. That means you're healthy. Hot and dark. <laughs> now, but the dark. thing is that, but Beluga has a whole nother deal than Frank, because Frankie, yeah. it's a pellet. Yeah. I mean, and, it's, it doesn't and, make it any better. And it's, and it's like freeze dry. Yeah, what it is yeah. is it dries very <laughs> yes. rapidly. What yes. you've got is you go from a fun size uh-huh. with Frankie right. to the king size. I took out, I picked right. up Frankie's was so Snickers dry. Snickers have peanuts too. Frankie's was so dry and hard one time I picked it up without a tissue. Oh, oh no, you didn't. that's oh, not good. That doesn't make it clean. <laughs> yes, it's I like did. bear grill. Oh. I washed my hands yeah. afterwards, but I showed it to Carl. I said, look at this. She goes, you touching that with your bare hands? I said, yep. There oh. it is. I've scooped, oh. it. I've scooped it on a piece of paper. This is a long time ago. I may have been drinking. <laughs> may what? have. Yeah. What? I'm lying. Odds. I'm lying. I didn't do it. This, I, like, this is like two weeks ago, and I was sober. I used it. <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't dry. <laughs> Even better. It wasn't dry, and it was... And Take it a was, look at this. And then I... <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. God! Anyway, Just a little salty, a little acidity. Oh, oh it. It. All right, let's uh, get Dennis Hoff on the phone, yeah, shall sure. we? Dennis on. Hoff is the uh, home vice mayor of Reno, Nevada. <laughs> no, he's not. He <laughs> is the, the mayor of, of, vice. of the uh, vice. What is it? The moon? Is it the, the Bunny Ranch? The Moonlight Bunny Ranch. The Moonlight Bunny Ranch. Mm-hmm. Uh, you were familiar with Dennis Hoff on Cat House. Are we calling the Cat House now? No, we're calling him at home. Did oh, you know he has a home? He has a home. He has a home. He doesn't live at the Cat House. I thought he slept. I thought he slept at the Hi, Dennis? Uh, yeah. Ranch. Dennis Hoff yes. uh, from the Mike Gomera Show to Dennis Hoff in uh, Reno, Nevada, or just outside Reno. Dennis, we were all just uh, talking that we we didn't realize you have a real home. We thought you slept at the Bunny Ranch. <laughs> well, you know, I'm behind the Bunny Ranch, and I I just got done with my morning exercise. Uh, Chrissy Summers just left, and no. uh, so I'm, I'm I'm ready to go to work now. How is your uh, knee doing? 
and he's doing wonderful. I, I, I'm exercising more and more. And when I'm done with this, I'll be out in the gym with the trainer and I'm um, getting in shape. You're a good man, Dennis Hoff, and uh, we want to say on behalf of the Mike O'Mara Show, thank you so much for being a big part of our show out at Circus Circus in Reno. Did you, and more importantly, did the ladies have a good time? The ladies had a great, great, great time, and uh, they're still talking about it. And uh, it, it was a, a lot of fun. Uh, you know, we had a little high school girl with us. And that God, was I mean, uh, Dennis, Dennis, don't, don't, don't say that. What are you, what are you doing? Fun, Dennis, well, she, I'm the father of a high school student. She was over 18. The holidays, she was over, yeah, she was over 18. She's, eight, she's 18. She can go kill somebody in, the, in a war. She's okay to sell sex. <laughs> I'm with you, Dennis. Don't listen to these old fogies. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Oscar. Uh, so, hey, and with, uh, with Christmas coming up, Dennis, I was, uh, do you buy gifts for the girls? Absolutely. We have a huge, huge Christmas party tonight. Tomorrow night. T tonight, wow. I'm, I have a, a hundred people from UNR coming in from the sex education class, and I'm going to lecture them. And then tomorrow afternoon is our Christmas party, and it will be so, so much fun. If you're in the, please, I wish you guys were closer by. Now you're he almost you, said you, he wished we could come, now but you're, he stopped you're, himself. You're talking about University of Nevada, Reno, right? Is that what you're talking about? Yes. So you absolutely. explain this. You wait a minute. You have. College students come out to the the Bunny Ranch. Yes, and it's not job career night. It's it's me educating them on the legal prostitution system in Nevada and the Bunny Ranch. Oh, cool! Yeah, that's Friends. pretty cool. That's, you do everything. It is a business, and it's an easy A. <laughs> Did you say easy <laughs> yeah. easy A or well, easy? You know, they love it because they, they get out here and they, these guys meet the girls, and it's amazing the matchups. And then, yeah. and I'm, I'm sure I'll have one of the girls apply for work. I don't know. I, I don't <laughs> I don't push that, but uh, they want to go to Ohio. Yeah, how right. many now? How many students come? To, I'm just fascinated by this. How many students come out to the ranch when you uh, offer this class? A hundred. There'll be a, uh, a, a right at a hundred people will be here tonight. Give a, and what do you put? Yeah. The, like ten to a bedroom? <laughs> 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 I would love oh, to five. see this. I would love to see this on Cat House. Yeah, that would be great. Now speaking of oh, Cat I House, do that. You, yes. yes, put yes. the kids. Nah, the, don't think of that. That would be great, Dennis. How many? Uh, now are we? Are we going back to? We're having another season of Cat House, right? Yes, well, now what we've got is one show shot and edited, and now that my knee's good, we're coming up with dates after the first of the year start shooting. But the exciting news is that January 18th, I've got a whole other series coming out on Cinemax. Oh, really? Wow. Oh. What is the, what's the series yeah. going to be called? It, it's called Working Girls in Bed. And the idea is this. I, I produced the show. Uh, because I couldn't shoot with my knee, so I produced this whole new show for Cinemax. And, uh, and the idea is the girls sit in this boudoir scene and talk about their fantasies, and then they live them out. Like my ex, Brooke, Brooke Taylor, who was on the Cat House show, she, her fantasy was, and she never told me this, uh, was that she wanted to have uh, sex on the hood of a car in the rain. Ah, <laughs> in the <laughs> rain. <laughs> and you make these fantasies come true? Yeah, if we made it all come true. I, mean, I wish you'd have told me. I'd have had two girls with hoses uh, spraying water on us sure. on, the, on the head of a car. But she did this, <laughs> and she did this, and it's going to be amazing. Oh, wow. And one of the girls, another one of my exes, I got a lot of exes, you know, because girlfriend in my vernacular is the girl I'm sleeping with the most at the time. There you go. Okay. My, Mike's got a lot of exes as well. So. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't yeah. think he, he doesn't pay the alimony I pay, though. That's, that's uh, true. That's oh, true. no, no, no. I, and I, I feel bad about that. In fact, sure I'd like do. to. I'd like to, because it'll save you money, I'd like to give you a booty pass for Christmas. God bless you. you know, oh, no. he, he gives me that every time he speaks to me because he knows I never <laughs> use it. Your wife's cool. Yes. I think, you know what, I think your wife uh, would be cool enough to come out here, and I don't know if she'd indulge, but she'd have a great time. You know what, I we we were really, because of the whole schedule and everything what, that was going what on. What if you re-gifted Carla the booty Stop pass? It. Do you think that would go well? All right, calm down. What I was going to say <laughs> is that we... Yeah. We really, seriously, and, and we are coming back. We don't know when, and right. we're not sure because we like to separate the shows and make sure, but we are definitely coming back to Reno. Yes. And I think that Carla did express curiosity about the Bunny Ranch. So, Dennis, I think that is a distinct possibility that uh, Carla would come out there just to, you know, just have to have some drinks for a tour and stuff like that. I guarantee you that she would do that. Yes, and she would, and she'd have the time of her life. Uh, and I was talking about your show yesterday, okay. and I, I was I was meeting with an, another station in Reno, and uh, uh, with Dan Cook from K Buzz and the GM over there. And I was telling him what you did. And he was shocked. I said, "Listen, this, this guy's an operator. Seven hundred people came from all over the country, and we had the time of our life." He says, well, "What did they do?" He says, uh, "I said they did their radio." Oh my God! He says. 
Michael Mayer does the best impersonations of anybody in the sure. industry. Anybody, mm-hmm. anywhere. You know, uh, we are actually starting uh, January 14th. Our thing, uh, Dennis, is that we are starting back on the air here with this podcast. They're going to rebroadcast it from 7 to 9 p.m. on WTNT 102.9 FM in Washington. And uh, once that is done, mm-hmm. we are going to be making the show available uh, whatever time a program director wants to put it on. Tell Mr. Cook we're back. So yeah, Mr. Tell Mr. Cook, Cook he could do an impression of, a, of an affiliate. Dennis, I uh, will tell him today, and you know what? I'll sell that. Oh, I you, will you sell will. that. You I, will, too. And I'll go, I'll go to every station that I do business with around the country and try to sell that for you. That's guys. fantastic. We'd love to do that. Uh-huh. And I'm excited about the new show on uh, Cinemax. And really, uh, it was great to see you out there. You're great. You've always been a great guest on the radio. I think you, uh, you're an amazing spokesperson for the cause. You, you are. You truly <laughs> are. And a lot of people get to see what it's all about. And, I mean, Dennis, you know more than anything, before we let you go here, uh, the world and attitudes towards that, you know, back in the day when it was so taboo right. to imagine that you would have a television show yeah. on HBO where guys would allow themselves to be taped, and that just blows me out of the water that you actually, but that's what uh, what the business has become. It's not as taboo as it used to be. No, it really isn't, and it's, it's, it's opened up, and it's worldwide, and and uh, you know it, it brings it brings fun girls like if, if you look if you go to BuddyRanch dot com look up Chrissy Summers this girl is a University of Michigan cheerleader graduated uh, with uh, with two majors and three and a half years overachiever here, Dennis overachiever that's right yep, but she's she's here now to get the money uh, to, to go for her masters because she doesn't want to work at Starbucks all those years while she's girl. doing that. Mm, that's right. Good and uh, so she's here. But look at this girl. I mean, this is the quality of girls we're getting. A, a, a educated and that's when it gets from creepy. University of Michigan. <laughs> and that's I, it. I, I wonder what the dean's thinking about this. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you are a good the man. The quality Dennis of girl, man. Uh, so give a plug one more time for everything you got coming up. You got the uh, Cinemax show that starts on what date? January 18th, and uh, it's, it's going to be fun. And, you know, the rest of it is just the Bunny Ranch and, and my crazy life. And uh, please, Christmas, come out here, spend Christmas with us, mm-hmm. have a little dinner, hang out with all the girls. Uh, there's not a better place to be. You're a great man, and uh, we always love having you on the show. Always fun. Yeah, I like calling him a great He is a great man. I know. He's a pioneer, yeah. Rob. He is a great fellow. Is, uh, Dennis now, Hall. Who, who, else, who else in the, what is it, 20 years you've been on? How long? Uh, we've been doing this. Uh, yeah, I've been on right. the, uh, Rob and I have been together for uh, 20, 20 years. years. Yeah, Absolutely. Buzz as well, yeah. Buzz as well. Who, whoever made you hot sauce besides me? Yeah, that's yeah. true. Hey, man, hot that's sauce. Right. Bless your heart, Dennis. Hey, man. Yes, one more question, Oscar. Uh, Dennis, is that Chrissy with a K or a C? With I'm a looking K. with a K. Chris, Thank you. Chrissy, K R I S S Y. Chrissy smoking hot summers. Uh, the vice, the vice uh, mayor of uh, Reno, Nevada, ladies and gentlemen, Dennis Hoff. Give him a Merry nice Christmas, round of Dennis. Thank Merry you. Christmas, Thank Dennis Hoff. Guys. Merry Christmas. Happy Dennis. holidays. Happy holidays. holidays. Bye. Thanks so Bye-bye. much. Bye. Bye. That's Dennis Hoff, everybody. Yes. In and, his uh, gold shirt. Oh God, he cracks me up. He Funny really many is. man. He is. Uh, you know. Do you guys like me? Wonder one thing about Dennis. Just how much. Money, the guy. I mean, now producing his second show oh, yeah. for oh, Cinemax. Yeah, I, I think he's. I think he's doing okay. I think he's uh, okay. How do you I think, think he's he got okay. the gold shirt? I and also, he's, <laughs> he's in the world's. He's in the world's only recession-proof business. That's for sure. That's yeah, true. Yeah. Dennis off. Thanks so much for coming on. Yes, sir. It's immoral. It's uh. It's unethical. I don't care. It's great. We it's love Christmas. Having you on. <laughs> it's not. You know what? It's, it's legal. the holiday. The <laughs> fact is, it's legal, and they 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 get checkups. We'll take a break and come <laughs> right back. Pay your taxes. Bye. Put that on the poster, Mike. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, there's no place like home for the holidays. Ah, memories. (laughs) Welcome back to MikeOmeraShow.com. Rob's Magic Audio Vault is brought to you by Sherry's Berries. Mm. We love them. They're fresh dip strawberries, an impressive gift for anyone on your list. Uh, Still... You can get them. We're, like, we're winding down with all of our sponsors for right. the holiday, everybody. Enormous, juicy berries dipped in your choice of white, dark, dark or milk chocolate. And choose your own toppings, including crushed almonds and chocolate chips. Prices start at nineteen ninety nine, And you can double your berries for just $10 more. But hurry and uh, check out the last-minute deals. Go to berries.com, click the microphone, and enter the code TMOS. That's B-E-R-R-I-E-S.com. And remember to use our code TMOS. 
M-O-S. There's still time. There is still time. Let's open it up for today, December 18th, Tuesday. Take it away, Rob. You know what about December 18th? That means there's not much time left. Three more days until the end of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, the Maya calendar. That's right. So if you're you're keeping track, the Mayans have predicted the world will end. What was it again? On the 21st. Three more days until the end of the world. So, I mean, they really, and you don't have much time, Mike. We have our own Maya. You don't have much time for Christmas either. Sorry. He's doing his own show. I'm not. I don't. I don't mean to get in the way. To fill the stocking, seven days left for Christmas shopping. Hello there. Only got seven days more. How are you? (laughs) Hi there. Only seven more shopping days. That's all. Why not finish it up today? Why not? You know, Mike, it might be nice. How about that guy that was in the studio <laughs> doing that? Hey, <laughs> this is what I'll say this time. Why not finish it up today? That's right. And they're all oh, brilliant. Yeah, that's thanks right. so much. <laughs> Genius. Hello Genius. there. Now <laughs> well, listen, I've got my lucky strikes over here. <laughs> oh, I've set the bed on fire. Yeah. Hello they, there. They call him one take a-hole. How you got you? it all done. Very Why not good. finish it today? Well, yeah. I need to put on my dad hat for a second. All right. Because today is... <laughs> Julia's 12th birthday. Aww. Isn't this a great show, ladies and gentlemen? We go from a... Uh, uh, I wasn't hoping you would... A pimp daddy to a, real, mention that. to a real daddy. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> it was 12 years ago that I my firstborn... My I can't dear, believe I called Dennis off a great man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an idiot. Yeah, and then you defended it. I, I, still, I still kind of like get all... Uh, Get all googly about that. He's that a business. pioneer. We'll, he's we'll say pioneer. that. Yeah, he's oh, great. He's a great man in business. <laughs> great, great, great you know, businessman. He's yes. fun to talk to. He is. Yes, he That's is. It. He all always right. brings it. But I digress. Why yes, it's your daughter's it? birthday. Twelfth birthday, <laughs> and uh, she has grown up on the air almost yeah. because we've had her on all along the way. And I wanted to play just a couple tapes to show you how far she's come and realize because I've gotten so many Facebook messages today alone, mm-hmm. people that say, remember when she was born right. on the air. Mm-hmm. So this first one is from And incidentally, March. that was in the studio. Yes. That's right. And that's how I actually was hired. It was Don a and stunt. I delivered the child. Yeah, well, I, they said, <laughs> if you let us deliver the child, you can have a trip to Florida. Yes. And that's how we met. Amen. Uh, this is from March of 2005, and I want you to pay attention to her voice because it is so cute. All right, Julia, we are recording. Yep. What do you have to say to everyone who's listening? Um, the picks. Yeah, but don't you want to say hi to them first? We were doing the NCAA brackets. Okay. That's right. the reason that she said picks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Sure. <laughs> hi. <laughs> now, what are we doing today? Do you remember? Yep, the pick. Who are you going to pick? The Redskins. <laughs> oh, this, you know, you're confused because we're not picking football. We're, we're picking basketball. Again? <laughs> yeah, do you remember we did it about a year ago? Yeah, but I was uh, I had the sniffles. No. <laughs> How do you feel Aww. now? Good. Do you remember who you picked the last time? The Packers. That was in football. <laughs> what about for basketball? <laughs> do you remember who you picked? What? Was it gone? Gonzaga. <laughs> That's right. They didn't win though. Gonzaga. No. Do you want to say hi to anybody? Sure. Okay. Who? <laughs> hi, Mike. And who else? Oh, who? How about Buzz? Hi, Buzz. <laughs> That's it? Yep. <laughs> Do you have a joke you want to tell us? Yep. Okay, you knock. go ahead. Knock, knock. Who's there? Orange. Orange who? Orange chair. <laughs> That's not the punchline I expected. That's not the punchline. No. Looks like you're a little bit confused. <laughs> <laughs> and Smart it's, as a whip. It seems like yesterday she was about uh, she was four there, and I go back to October of this year to hear how her voice has changed. Yeah. I, I, I've got that tape right now. Yeah. Ah! No, no. Hello, <laughs> this is Julia Spiewak from Orca Corner, and I have a bunch of people watching me, but like a bunch of people, as in about two, and. Right now, we're listening to Ghostbusters by some guy. I don't know who, who did the song, so, you know, I'm not the best DJ. Ah. Uh, yeah, um, maybe you guys should go listen to some other Rob show. Spiewak. Yeah, that's my dad. Something strange. <laughs> that's awesome. Show business, yeah. Julia. Yay. Long trip, and I love her a lot. Up? Love her a little bit, a little bit. That's she's wonderful. Sweet. She's awesome. Yeah, okay. She's your firstborn, Rob. Triumph the insult comic dog. Oh, yes. my fave. They brought him out to promote this new movie, <laughs> This Is 40, and they, uh, okay, they interviewed all the stars. I laugh already yeah. based on the last bit I saw Triumph do. And uh, this that. is him with uh, director Judd Apatow. Okay. This is big. I've got the director here, Judd Apatow. Now, just to get it right, uh, because I hear it both ways, is it pronounced Apatow 
or Krapatow. <laughs> You're a big success, honestly. All the money you have, and you still kept that face. <laughs> Did you do anything to improve it? Like, cover it up with money. <laughs> I like your beard very much. Thank you. But Thank enough you. about Leslie Mann. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> you see, because he's a homosexual. <laughs> Everyone's a homosexual. <laughs> Under me. No, seriously, is yes. this is this a beard or just something left over from kissing Gary Shandling? <laughs> it is left over. It's definitely left over. He has a hairy one. We all know that. <laughs> okay, Triumph continues as I'm talking to star Paul Rudd. I right. always like to follow your career uh. because I love knowing what movies Zach Galifianakis turned down. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest, you're like the fourth guy they call, right? Uh. I mean, when you can't get Will Ferrell or Carell or Zach, then right. you call Paul Rudd and you say, Paul, do you have Danny McBride's phone number? <laughs> and she went in, I love you, man, though. I was, that yeah. did pretty well. Yeah, that was all right. That was a bromance, yeah, that's right? right? Yeah, yeah. It's, that's, that's, yes, I, I, it's been described as such. Yes, I saw that. This it was great. so boring. I wanted to <laughs> bro my brains out. <laughs> oh, I have a beautiful mind. Okay. <laughs> and he also spoke to one that's, of your favorites. Who's, who, I wish the guy's got to get credit that does the writing. Oh, God, uh, it's Robert Smigel. So, yeah, it is Robert Smigel. Is it Robert Smigel? Yes. Yeah. Oh, my yeah. God, that's funny. And the last one, here he is with John Lithgow, who I know you adore. Oh, wow. Yeah. You're a legend. You've done so many great work on... Third Rock from the Sun oh, well. ran for many years. You played an extraterrestrial. That's right. John, the show's been over for 10 years. You can take off the makeup. <laughs> You'll see the guys. He's a freaky looking guy. I can see why Judd wants you. You know, you're a great actor. And at the premiere, they can project the movie on your forehead. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, I like that's that. That's great, and, and it's, it's great that he's like the puppet. So yes, yeah. he, a, can, he a gets rubber away dog. With that. It's right. so funny. A rubber dog. Oh god, that. Guy's As we great. near the end of the year, I love whenever they put one of these together. Here is the year in review in two parts. So you're going to be surprised all the stuff that happened calendar year 2012 that you don't remember. <laughs> Let's take a look back at a very busy year. Twinkie maker Hostess will try to sell its brands. Jorn van der Sloot has pleaded guilty. Football coach Joe Paterno has died. Facebook files an initial public offering. To the Giants, you're now world champions once again. Country Boo. singer Randy Travis says he is sorry for his overnight arrest for public intoxication. Singer Whitney Houston has died at the age of 48. The Grammy Awards awarded to British singer Adele. And the Oscar goes to the artist. I think the hoodie is as much responsible for Trayvon Martin's death. Davy Jones, the former lead singer of the 1960s pop band The Monkees, died at a hospital in Florida. The woman Rush Limbaugh publicly called a slut. And I again sincerely apologize to Ms. Fluke. Players on the New Orleans Saints were paid to hurt opponents. Rutgers University student has been found guilty after using a webcam to spy on his roommate. Hunger Games debuting at number one. I'm gonna die. I want to still be me. Tebow now officially joining the New York Jets. Director James Cameron has arrived at the ocean's deepest point. The ACM Female Vocalist of the Year is Miranda Lambert. And the rewind continues. We have an electronic scrapbook of the year gone by. Kentucky claiming the NCAA basketball title. Champions 2012. Mike Wallace has died at 93. It's almost an embarrassment, sir. It's officially Splitsville for Jennifer Lopez and Mark Anthony. Secret service members bringing back prostitutes to their hotel room. Dick Clark, synonymous with the rise of rock and roll, has died at age 82. It's a perfect day for Philip Bumper! The Avengers with a whopping 200.3 million its opening weekend. I have an army. We have a hope. Adam Yauch, one of the three hip-hop pioneers who called themselves the Beastie Boys, had four number one albums. He died. President Obama, the first president to formally support same-sex marriage. LeBron James is again the NBA's MVP. The reason that is happening today is because of my support. Britney Spears officially joining Simon Cowell. Donna Summer has died at 63. Bee Gees founder Robin Gibb has died. The L.A. County Sheriff's Department questioned Justin Bieber after a photographer claims he was roughed up by the entertainer. John Edwards is a free man after being acquitted on one count and after a mistrial is declared. Thank goodness we live in a country that has the kind of system that we have. That's the year in review. Wow. A lot of stuff. Not a great year. You know what's weird? What? What? I shouldn't say this. Happy, happy, joy, joy. 
I go I go back to those little kids again. Mm-hmm. When I yeah, think of I, time I, and I you hear people dying at 82 and right. 63 and all that, it's uh, it's kind of a drag. You got to come. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm actually glad you brought that up. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people have said, and I, I'm beginning to agree that David Letterman, like him or miss him or whatever you do, he's the best. He remains this. our our sort of our national conscience and our barometer because we don't have Cronkite anymore. He will deal with a national tragedy and he will deal with it directly and he will deal with it skillfully. And I agree. And I, I've always respected him. And I think he's That's one right. of my favorite broadcasters on television. And he yesterday he said a little bit about the stuff that went down at Sandy Hook. I'm not dumb enough to think that this is a problem of guns because before there were guns, people were killing one another so you can't just say that it's guns. And you can't just say that it's mental health uh, or emotional problems because people with all manner of problems don't necessarily kill other people. But again, you hear that semi-automatic and it had a, had a clip that contained 30 rounds of ammunition. Wow. Why do you need that? I, right. And uh, you can have guns. Uh, 50% of the households in this country have guns. So we're never going to say you can't have guns. But... I honestly, and I've been around wildlife quite a lot, I've never seen a deer worth 30 round, rounds of ammo in an automatic rifle. Very valid. Yeah. There it is. All right. Is that? Uh, do you have something funny to go out on? I or? do. I do. As a matter of okay. fact, I want to play you two takes. You looked at me like that was it. I wasn't going to no, say no, anything no, more. No. I have two more. Believe I, me, I'm going to say it all on Facebook. I yeah. have two more, yeah. and um, I'm taking your keyboard privileges away, Mike. All right. Thank no. you very much. Uh, <laughs> Jimmy Kimmel, also a guy I respect a lot, was so... Uh, affected by this. He actually almost couldn't keep it together last wow. night. Glad that you came out. I hope we can uh, laugh a bit tonight after a horrible weekend. And uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I, uh, I have trouble controlling my emotions, but it feels weird to do a show with so much uh, sadness. And uh, sometimes, though, that's what needs to happen. So I think the president said what needed to be said last night on television. I think he spoke beautifully. I, I just want the um, people in Connecticut to know that uh, we do not take what you're going through lightly, and we are thinking about you here a lot, all of us, even though we're at a uh, conference. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. A lot Good of baby fan. broadcasters out there. I would like to invite them to know, and it's happened to me on today's show, it's okay to be real. And yeah. it's okay to show some emotion, especially yeah. Yeah. when the incident that inspires it is of such magnitude. Mark and I were talking before the show how this is not going away. No. And, no uh, we're, so. We usually have a real short memory in this country, mm-hmm. and this one is uh, is lingering, yeah. and uh, it should linger. More uh, on that in a minute. Mm-hmm. Very, very tough. All right, I close with Craig Ferguson, who I brought a smile to my face last night, so thank you, Craig. I'm actually curious about this year's the least popular toys. They're pretty much the lame twists in the old classics. There's uh, Hungry Hungry Hitlers. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Raggedy Ann Hathaway. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, yeah. You ooh me. I'm not the one stepping out of my car showing my JJ. Atta boy, Craig. Uh, That's your audio vault, folks. Thank you, Rob. We'll take a break. Come back with buzz and news on the Mike O'Mara Show, everybody. Welcome to my Christmas song. I'd like to thank you for the year. My fave. It's good stuff. Absolutely. Huh? Papini Sisters, Mike. What is it called? The Papini Sisters. They're you great. popped your pee really good on that one. <laughs> sisters. Uh, so are the Papini Sisters anyone we would hear on a regular... I mean, how popular are they? They are a niche group. They have another album, and they've done some covers, and their their style is like this. It's very uh, retro. Kind very of Betty Boop kind of thing. I think Andrews Sisters. Andrew's sisters. Yeah. Well, the same thing. Yeah, you know, tight harmonies, kind of and it's good. If you like good music, you'll like... It. I think retro stuff plays better on Christmas music than any other mm-hmm. sort of genre. Sure, yeah. uh, so it's a great you, album. How do you spell it? P U P P I N I. Pupini sister. Pupini. And my mother spells it P O O P, and she thinks that's funny. Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> it made Mark laugh. Thank you very much. I like that. And You're now, without such further ado, let's get right to it. <laughs> Here's Buzz with the news. Take it away, Buzz. First, mess. Mike, I have a nice letter for you from Robert Betancourt. He writes Mike, I'm a longtime listener. I live in Mobile, Alabama, and just made a several hundred dollar purchase through the Amazon link at TMOS. Thank you, Bob. So, the new addition to the O'Mara family may have many good Christmases in the future. Oh, that's Congrats nice. Congrats on the baby. You and Carla will make wonderful parents. Thank you. Thanks for all you and the others do, making each day a bit easier for the rest of us mallet heads. Respectfully, <laughs> Robert Betancourt. Thank I thought you, you'd like that. Thank you very much. So that's we, very we, nice. we thank him and everybody who shops now and throughout the year at our Amazon page at MikeOmeraShow.com. However, I, I have to say, with uh, with you know the last week here with mm-hmm. Amazon, uh, don't want, I want to I don't want to discourage anybody, but mm-hmm. Mark 
Ronick was crying before the show. Yeah, he's very sensitive about this. He said our our numbers on Amazon uh, this week uh-huh. have to go up. Yeah, can I put a positive spin on that? Well, go can ahead, you? Rob. I Many hope you people can. like Mike O'Mara. Yes, have not yet completed your Christmas shopping. That's and right. I went to Tyson's Corner Mall yesterday, mm-hmm. and I feel I've cheated death. Yes. Don't do this to yourself. Do go right. to Amazon, click three things, go through our website. Yes, it'll be in your hands by Friday. Please do, and you never have to put on not pants. Sooner. Yeah. Go for it, do Amazon, it, man. and go through our webpage to do it. Uh, Take it away, Buzz. Uh, Oscar worried yesterday with good reason that after the tragedy in Connecticut Friday that things probably won't change, but there's a growing sense that this time it's different. This time a score of innocent young children were gunned down by a weapon of mass destruction, a semi-automatic assault rifle. Yesterday, I I don't think you'll hear this anywhere else, Uh, yesterday a major investment firm dropped its stake in a group of companies that make assault rifles. Uh, Cerberus Capital of New York, which manages some $20 billion in assets, announced it's selling its stake in a dozen firearms companies, including the Bushmaster that killed 20 children a few days ago. Cerberus calls the tragedy a watershed event, saying it no longer wants to back a weapon that can fire 45 shots a minute and said that its thoughts and prayers go to the families of the victims. Stock in Bushmaster dropped yesterday on fears that its mass-killing machines might be banned, but gun sales across the country have skyrocketed again over the past few days, also because tougher gun laws might be on the horizon. Another thing that's different this time involves the National Rifle Association. After every other mass shooting, the NRA has issued statements affirming its pro-gun stand. Not this time. This time, the NRA is not posting on Twitter, has taken down its Facebook page entirely. The NRA is not returning calls from reporters. You'll pardon the expression. They're sweating bullets over there. Well, I don't know. I, I bet I they think are. I, if, if, if this is the first time that strategic. they've reacted... I think there's a strategy. Well, of course You're it is, but this right. is the first time they've had to do this strategy. It means they're having to rethink, and you know what? That's a start. But lawmakers are backing away. Granted, not everyone sees the writing on the wall. A gun store owner in Texas is offering discounts to teachers believing that a better armed teaching force can help prevent another tragedy. But also different this time, lawmakers. Lawmakers who normally side with the NRA are changing their tunes, now willing to talk about new gun regulations. They are now joining forces with lawmakers who've always worried about assault rifles and big ammo clips, determined this time to make some real changes, they say. Yep. There's also a growing consensus that it's time to stop ignoring mental health in this country and a determination to do something about that as well. The investigation into the shooter's motive may take months as uh, experts pour over the computer hard drives he tried to destroy before his killing spree. Newtown, Connecticut buried two children yesterday and will bury two more today and more children tomorrow along with the teachers, counselors, and principal who got in the way. Meanwhile, two young men in Tennessee and California were hit with criminal charges yesterday after their Facebook posts threatening mass shootings at their own schools. Now, it may not feel like it, Understandably so, but 2012 just may have been the world's best year ever. Britain's The Spectator published a list to back up its belief. Stay with me. Cancer rates are down by a third from a decade ago. There were fewer deaths from war in that decade than at any time in the past century. There were fewer deaths from natural disasters because we're better at preparing for and detecting them. AIDS and malaria deaths were down by 20% over the last decade. Medical technology had increased our lifespans by five whole years in Africa. We're producing more fossil fuel, turning a shortage into a surplus plus and using less fossil fuel to protect the planet and world poverty is less than half of what it was in 1990. I'd buy that story a lot then better why, last we, week. Then we, why we am I facts. not in a better mood? Yeah, well, understand. As I said, it, last week you would have loved that story. Yeah, probably. Uh, but, but it's important that we hear that, maybe especially now, so that we don't give up all hope. Okay. Uh, NBC News chief foreign correspondent Richard Engel has been freed by the kidnappers we didn't even know he had a until you see him this morning to uh, a network that we take a lot of pokes at yep. and i will tell you nbc mm-hmm. for keeping this story quiet uh, which ultimately you know kept this guy Saved from being life. more of a valuable t- it didn't necessarily save his life but totally. it kept from being more of a valuable target mm-hmm. and uh and really, uh, it's astonishing that all this was going on. Um, you know, they they got him out. Uh, he got out because they got lucky. They came up to a checkpoint, a rebel checkpoint, and there was a firefight. And Richard Engel, the NBC News correspondent, mm-hmm. escaped. But boy, uh, keeping you know, I think keeping any story quiet uh, in the news it's media, hard. and incidentally, he kept it quiet. Yeah, 
you were able to do this for one of your own. And learn from yeah. that. Mm-hmm. Learn yeah. from that. Do you think right. maybe NBC kept it quiet, or maybe they just didn't know about it? No, they did. In fact, other reporters conscious were, decision. No, I, because no. you know they're just not the best news organization. <laughs> I, I, Memo was lost. Point, right. point, point, point taken. But uh, various news organizations, especially from overseas, were calling NBC saying, "Hey, we've heard Richard Engel." Oh, really? And, and okay. NBC, would, NBC would say, "Shh, please yeah. don't don't say anything about it." They yeah. offered to trade Ann Curry. Yeah. <laughs> With oh, God, that's horrible. With each that passing is like too day, soon. too soon, way too soon. How dare you? <laughs> with each passing day, there's there's better news to report about avoiding the fiscal cliff. Obama and Boehner continue to meet, and yesterday, after Boehner had made some concessions, so did Obama. Among other things, the president offered to raise taxes on those making four hundred thousand dollars a year instead of the two to two fifty. You know what's great about proposed. this? Yeah. What's great about this is. That's how it works. That's right. It's called bargaining. Well, you want this, I want mm-hmm. this. We right. meet in the middle. Hello, right. compromise. I really I hope they get this done. This is, you know, this would be a wonderful win for the country. Yeah, we need this. Yeah. For both Republicans and Democrats at the end of the year for both sides to get a little of what they want. Yeah. I would love to see that to me. You know what Congress, senators we need that right now. They're setting a good example. We really need. How about They're a happy, nice, happy yeah. win? And let's get it done before Christmas, okay? Word yeah. is a deal may just be days away, which is a good thing because we're only days away from the fiscal cliff. Amen. A new survey says half of us expect to have our uh, holiday shopping interrupted, our holiday Christmas holiday, rather, our time off from work, half of us are expecting to be interrupted by work during that period of time. And even though 73% Mike of Rob's us... Mike on the phone. <laughs> well, yeah. how am I supposed to call? I'm supposed to call somebody next week. Oh, the That's Granny right. and Andy show. Yeah, well, right. Or the, the Andy Park show. The Andy Park's a uh, music uh, get-together. Bob said they're expecting your call next week. I said, it's Christmas, Christmas and New Year's. I will take care of it, Mike. Come on. Yeah. And even though 73% of us still have shopping to do. So fussy. You know what, Friday? Come to work. <laughs> <laughs> Just for that. I'll try it. <laughs> Draw circles. 73% of us still have Christmas shopping to do, but Kmart. Draw stars. Kmart. Stop fighting. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm trying. Okay. Kmart has already moved on from Christmas. Yeah, let's really? all move on. Kmart has put up its Valentine's displays. Remember, only 58 more shopping days until Valentine's that's Day. That's weird. It's true. That's that's creepy. No I wonder they suck. I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't want to go through a store uh, before Christmas and see. Valentine. If, if it's my Kmart, it's last so year's strange. candy. Oh, uh, <laughs> finally, Buzz has a Kmart. That's, that's cute. Nasty. That's my very own. <laughs> finally, an airline story to get you jacked for holiday travel. Oh, in, boy. In China, a man who looked like a sumo wrestler arrived at security and immediately raised suspicion. As it turns out, there wasn't a lot to worry about. It's just that when the man found out that his luggage was overweight and that he'd have to pay a really big baggage fee... He took some of that excess clothing and put it on. (laughs) When he was stopped at the gate... That's very funny. He was wearing 61 shirts and nine (laughs) pairs of jeans. Wow. Good boy. I'm Buzz Burbank of the Mike O'Mara Show. That is a great kicker, That's not illegal, right? That is funny. Just uncomfortable. (laughs) Tomorrow, uh, this could be the whole show tomorrow because we didn't get to it today. Tomorrow, Rob Spiewak will discuss my thinning hair. And I will, I will have the same do that I have. Yes, I've gone back to the Oscar Santana brush it back Pompadour. style. Yes. And uh, we'll discuss that tomorrow. You look very much like Ricky Nelson in 1958. <laughs> oh, nice. You. Whatever. <laughs> Thanks. We'll no, see you tomorrow. Uh, our show today was brought to you by someone good. The Mangrate. Our 2013 VIP package. What are you doing? How do you remember hey, why not? Enhance <laughs> your VIPness. Please order our VIP packages. That's how we support the show. Yeah. Mark's having fits over there for his end of year. Bring his numbers up for the end of the year so he can have a decent Christmas. Won't you help? Yes, please help, Mark. If you uh, love him. Anyway, we'll see you tomorrow with a brand new show. Thanks. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank, you. Thank you, Ted Garber. Ted yeah. Garber. Yeah, that's yeah. right, Ted Garber. Uh,